Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm excited to get this one out for you today. We have some big news coming from VeChain, some really cool stuff coming for IOTA. The state of Texas is trying to be a blockchain hub. We have a Japanese bank that's launching a CBDC. We got a lot of really cool stuff that's going on right now. And uh, this one, I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible because there is a, a quite a bit. So I'm just gonna start with getting right into it. Of course, we'll also check the market sentiment and everything like that. But with that said, uh, let, let's just get started. If you guys could like the video for me that would be much much appreciated and uh, here we go so bitcoin appears ready for an extraordinary move in just 48 hours according to morgan creek digital partner so bitcoin's three month long tightening trading range may end in about 48 hours says the morgan creek digital executive jason williams he says this feels like a little world cup of sorts bitcoin could break out on or about the 22nd i don't think i would want to be on the sidelines going into this bitcoin volatility could be extraordinary to the upside and so basically he's predicting you know by about this time here where there's red circles drawn which is which would be the end uh the absolute peak of this apex here um he's expecting some uh price action to the upside which a lot of people are and a lot of people are also expecting price action to the downside uh now crypto strategist ethereum jack sees the king crypto exploding within the next th seven days as bitcoin spot volume hits a level that precedes significant price expansion a dwindling volume indicates that many traders are on the sidelines while waiting for an asset to provide clarity in terms of direction now we have another trader who goes by walter wickoff and he believes that bitcoin will breach resistances as it gets a helping hand from a bullish s p 500. what he says is probably the spx is going to rip on the vaccine news and if that happens uh it is going to pull up btc i think that futures opening on legacy will give a clue on what we should expect for the breakout of bdc can't see bitcoin dumping while markets make new highs uh but not all analysts are thinking bullish so here is peter brandt and he is expecting bitcoin to suffer a move to the downside what peter brandt says is he he says he thinks personally the surprise is that we see a shakeout in bitcoin this is not a prediction but i'm trying to think through the market psychology which is we have a sharp break in Bitcoin, maybe back to 7,000 to 7,500. So I just wanted to give you that quick, uh, you know, Bitcoin wrap up. We got to see uh, three or four different traders perspectives. Um, and, and I guess the good news, guys, is, is that we're getting we're getting to the end of this boring part. You know, uh, I don't care whether we go up or down at this point. I just want to do something. Um, you know, I don't want to be sitting in this range anymore. This has been an absolute boring range. Uh, it's been even hard to make content regarding Bitcoin just because of how boring it is. No Nobody's interested in it. Um, all the intention is in altcoins right now. You know, like you have all the DeFi projects going off. You had uh, ADA go off. You had uh, Chainlink go off. Uh, you had VeChain go off. All so that's where all the all the action and traffic is. I also want to show you guys this: crypto exchanges can now more easily freeze. Uh, quote unquote risky transactions. Uh, this is Cipher Traces introducing new predictive capability capabilities to its tracing software to help crypto firms decipher which funds are safe and which may be linked to criminals uh this is also backed by darpa um so yeah anyways uh you know is this a good thing well hey you know if people are getting uh, hacked on bitcoin like this recent twitter hack and an exchange could you know realize that this was definitely used for you know illegitimate purposes legal purposes scams and they could freeze it hey you know what i mean that's probably the right thing to do um but again guys this is just more you know more fuel to the fire that you need to get your crypto off exchanges because what if for some reason they think you're a risky transaction right what if you know we're investing now and then one day oh transactions of more than you know i don't know twenty thousand dollars are risky you know just get your get your uh if you think you're going to be making big money in this space you might not want to have that big money sitting on exchanges when all this stuff pops off it might be small money now but as we know once the bull run starts um and these coins go parabolic you know your your ten thousand dollars could be uh, you know uh, in the six figure range so you know if you're expecting six figures if you're expecting seven figures uh treat it as such you know if you wouldn't leave that type of money in one bank account uh, why leave that money on a crypto exchange or at least why leave it on one single crypto exchange right now, we also have some cool news from IOTA. So EDAG shows the use cases of the IOTA-based city bot at the airport. Now, as the video shows, the multifunctional autonomous vehicle enables in-time delivery with real-time tracking, and it uses IOTA for communication between videos. So basically, like it's IOTA being implemented into these robots. It's really, this is the first I'm hearing of it, and they actually have a video, so I'm gonna play this for you guys. As you can see, I watched some of it, and I'm just gonna replay it for you guys right here, and you guys can kind of see see what exactly is going on. 
Anyways, guys, I don't want to keep playing, you know, the entire thing. It goes on to show more of the same stuff, you know, and, and kind of describes it. But you guys get the point. Uh, so anyways, guys, I, I personally, you know, I've, I've heard of IOTA before. I heard about it uh, back in like 2017. Uh, never invested into it. It's it's a coin that not many people talk about. Um, and, and yeah, but they are making moves, though. So I definitely, you know, I think this is pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm personally going to be doing some more research into this and so I saw this want to share it with you guys and you know I would say you know I would definitely say you guys should probably do some more research into this as well on your own uh, looks like IOTA could be doing some some really really uh, big things I haven't really seen any anybody else uh, you know taking on projects like this and I think the cool thing is that it actually is using IOTA for communication be between these vehicles. So really, really interesting stuff. Uh, if you guys like daily cryptocurrency videos like the one you're watching right now, we go over Bitcoin, altcoins, everything going on in the crypto space to try to keep you up to date, then make sure you subscribe. And if you could like the video for me, that would be amazing. I do appreciate any support that you guys choose to give to the channel. For prices today, we have Bitcoin at 9300 uh, That was actually, it's up a, a, a quite a bit since I last looked at it. So it's up 2%. Um, yeah, when I last looked at Bitcoin, I think it was 92. That's pretty interesting to see. Ethereum at 245, XRP at 19 cents, Cardano at 12, Chainlink at 730. Uh, Stellar is at nine and a half cents and our V chain is at 1.7 fear and greed index is the same uh, 44 44 43 37 we're in the same spot uh, again guys so boring with this uh, with this uh, Bitcoin range that we're in but one thing that is definitely not boring is V chain partnering with over 300 Italian agricultural companies uh, using their blockchain <laughs> guys this is insane i actually i saw i saw this news yesterday and when i first saw this news the write-up was in italian now i can read like i can understand italian fairly well because my grandparents spoke it um at one point i could speak very fluent italian while i was a child uh but i, I kind of lost it just from you know not really you know utilizing it it's kind of like you stop using a language you, you kind of forget it and since i learned it at such a young age you know it, it was easier for me to forget right um but with that said, I, I can still understand it very well if people are talking Italian. I, I, I kind of like, I just know like instinctively, you know, what they're kind of talking about. And I can I can read it a little bit, so I kind of got it, but I, I wasn't comfortable enough to go out and, uh, and you know, start reading the Italian uh, the Italian article on here. But they, they put out an English version, so now we can go ahead and do this. So <laughs> the largest Italian agricultural association and the largest tomato processing company in the country rely on VeChain's blockchain tech to make the tomato supply chain Chain traceable. The project is managed by Token Farm, an initiative of Colda Ready, and involves about 300 companies, 17 cooperatives, and six producer associations in Italy. So this is pretty huge. And man, those Italian tomatoes taste good. So uh, it's Colda Ready and Princess Industry Alimentari have joined forces to launch a project to guarantee the supply chain for vegetables, integrating V Chain as a as a DLT. Uh, it's the largest association representing and supporting Italian agriculture, and the Princess Industry is the largest tomato processing plant in Europe in Italy. So, among the various initiatives, the Farmers Association and the company are developing a digital platform based on the V Chain Thor blockchain. The aim of the pilot project is to make it possible to track all products and thus improve the quality. The project has been in the development phase for a year and a half and has involved some 300 companies, 17 cooperatives, and six 
six producer associations that will use the vchain based blockchain platform to track their deliveries now get this guys i thought this was insane the farmers were trained in the use of the platform and in the insertion of production data on the vchain blockchain so they're literally training farmers to use this stuff and it seems like they love it uh so the time we were ready and after a year and a half to work we we involved 300 companies okay we already went through that uh, within a very important three-year argument for the price of raw materials agreed to track all their supplies in fact three million quintals of tomato pass through the princess factory every year we are now in the phase of adoption by the farmers who were trained during the covid emergency to use the app to enter the data that are then certified in the blockchain remember guys this right here is the catalyst when were they trained during the catalyst the catalyst to bring about the cashless society uh the catalyst to bring about digital payments uh you know paying through your phone we're going to be using qr codes soon uh, it is what it is guys it is what it is it is coming and we were going to probably profit immensely because of it uh, the v chain blockchain is also intended to guarantee that the tomatoes come from farms that comply with the required ethical standards it will obviously be an open experiment for several years because we'll have to perfect the blockchain with our partner VeChain. But in the meantime, the first trial has convinced us that this is the right way. We pay more for the tomato and we guarantee its quality. Now, I want to see VeChain put in some DLT work and prove to us that our food doesn't have GMOs in it. When they do that, that would be awesome. I'm going to be all on it. I want to make sure my food got no GMOs in it. I don't know about you guys. Um, U.S. state of Texas saddles up to become the next blockchain capital. Texas ups its aspirations to become the go-to place for crypto in the U.S., forming a new blockchain council and highlighting the state's mining capability. So while well-known companies like uh, Hashgraph and Bitmain have already established a strong presence in Texas. The state has recently formed its own blockchain committee known as the Texas Blockchain Council. The organization was established as a trade association or business league serving as a nonprofit intended to make Texas leader in national blockchain growth, education, and biz development. The council's president, Lee Bratcher, says this. What states like Wyoming have done for blockchain innovation is truly amazing, and we certainly want to emulate that. We just want to come behind these states with Texas' trillion-dollar economy, which will ultimately allow us to become the next big place where blockchain innovation happens. Bratcher further noted that a number of Texas elected officials are in support of the initiatives being put forward by the Texas Blockchain Council. It's actually, it's really crazy to, to think that there is a blockchain council in Texas. That, that I mean, that, that is insane. Um, you know, who, I mean, who would have thought, you know, a couple years ago that this would have even been happening? Uh, so they also say Texas has a long history of technological innovation and free thinking entrepreneurs from the invention of handheld calculators by engineers at Texas Instruments to the development of 3D printing at UT Austin, Texas has always been on the forefront of technological change. We're now we've now set our sights on becoming the jurisdiction of choice for investors, entrepreneurs and enterprises to build and deploy blockchain technology applications and other emerging tech innovations. So pretty cool stuff, guys. This article does go on for quite a bit length longer so if you guys want to look into it it's right here it's on coin telegraph just google it um but yeah guys so texas is trying to become you know kind of like a blockchain hub and i guess wyoming is also doing the same they're looking up to wyoming so moving on Japanese financial giant MUFG to launch a digital currency in 2020, which doesn't come as, as a surprise. Uh, we went over yesterday Japan and them wanting to go over their digital currency. So if you want to learn more about Japan and their digital currencies, their, their CBDCs they want to put out, watch yesterday's video. But just want to show you guys another bank wants to launch its digital currency in 2020. Uh, I think Japan is going to have a huge role uh, coming up in blockchain and CBDCs and everything like that. I'm super excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am really, really excited um from here on out i was excited for 2020 uh 2020 has turned out to be uh an insane year um even outside of crypto it's turned out to be an insane year i think we can all agree on that uh but but one thing is for sure uh, you know it, no matter what's really going on out there we can all see that this is coming we can all see uh that blockchain crypto everything like that is here to stay and our investments are in the right place if you guys like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you could drop it a like so it gets pushed out to more people we can grow the community i would really really appreciate that a link to our discord chat for the channel is in the description if any of you guys want to join that and become you know part a closer part of the community i'm still trying 
trying to build it. We got about 80 members, uh, so the chat's not that active. But I think that the as as we add to the chat, as more people join, um, it will become more and more active, and it'll become more and more like part of the community. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all on the next one. Have a great day, guys.